Hey everybody, welcome back. Got some fresh new optics on my Killer Instinct SWAT X1. This is the new Max View MB36 from Killer Instinct. I wanted to do just a quick overview for you guys and show you what the scope is all about. So stay tuned. Here's a closer view for you guys of the MaxView MV36. So if you guys are looking for upgraded optics like I was for either a Killer Instinct crossbow or really any crossbow it is that you shoot, this is a really good option. Few things with it, it is gonna come with rings and it's gonna come with flip up lens covers, protect those lenses from bad weather or walking through the brush, whatever it is. The scope itself is a two to seven by 36 and the magnification correlates to the speed of your bow. So this is a speed ring scope and you can dial it in to the speed of your bow and the bolt that you're shooting for speeds as low as 340 feet per second and speeds as high as 460 feet per second. And that speed will calibrate the ballistic dots with inside the reticle for you. One thing that's nice that is at least new on a, uh, a KI scope, they didn't have this on the Lumix speed ring scope. Uh, this has a locking collar for your speed ring. So once you dial it in, you can uh, tighten that down and then this isn't gonna move on you. So that's a nice newer feature compared to the Lumix speed ring scope. Turrets on this, similar to the Lumix speed ring scope, which I loved the windage and elevation turrets on it. This one's got the same ones. So it does not require a tool and it is a very crisp, uh, both feel and sound for each adjustment that you make. I like that these don't spin too freely and it's very easy to tell each click and adjustment that you make. Another thing I really appreciate that they changed up on this scope is just the verbiage as far as your adjustments go. So five clicks equals a half inch at 20 yards. Super easy to understand, super easy to help you sight in at those crossbow distances. You're not having to do a bunch of calculations for, uh, you know, scopes that are set up for clicks at 100 yards and you're trying to figure out what you need to do for 20 yards or 40 yards or whatever. Coming over to this side of the scope, this is your illumination. So the reticle can illuminate either red or green on this one. You have different brightness settings for the green or the red. The scope is also waterproof fog proof and shock proof. Let's take a closer look at the reticle itself. I think once again, Killer Instinct did a very nice job designing this reticle. So you've got aiming points from 20 yards all the way to 150 yards. And those dots are in 10 yard increments from 20 to 70 and five yard increments from 70 to 150. The 10 yard increment dots are all labeled with a number on the right hand side of them for easy identification and every 10 yard increment dot illuminates. Looking at the horizontal portion of the reticle, you'll also notice that the two dots at the ends of the horizontal lines also illuminate to help with fast target acquisition. Guys, I'm gonna do my best to show you the illumination on the reticle, there we go. Here's what it looks like, red, green, and then you can adjust the brightness to whatever level it is that you want. Sighting in the MaxView MV36, also really straightforward, and it comes with instructions on how to do this. But real quick, you're gonna start with the advertised speed of your bow, and then you're gonna start at 20 yards. And 20 yards is that center dot in your reticle. So sight your bow in for that. Go ahead and make elevation and windage adjustments to get that dialed in, and then move back to 30 yards. When you move back to 30, if you need to make left-right adjustments, you can go ahead and do that. But if your bolt is hitting, let's say high, you're gonna to wanna to turn the speed on that speed ring up a little bit. If it's hitting low, you're gonna to wanna to turn it down a little bit until that 30 yard dot is now hitting true. Then move back to something like 50 or 60, that's usually where I like to go, and do the exact same thing. If you need to make a few tweaks left and right, go ahead and do that with the windage adjustments. But again, if your bolt is a little high or a little low, adjust the speed on the speed ring to dial that 60 yard or 50 yard uh, reticle dot in. Once you've kind of got it dialed in, around 50 or 60 yards, the rest of the dots should fall in place. Now, once you go way back, you may have to make a few more minor adjustments, but basically that's how you sight it in and get all those ballistic dots calibrated to your bow and your bolt. All right, everybody, I am fresh out of daylight here. So we're gonna wrap this video up. We'll do some more shooting with the MaxView MV36 here soon, but all in all, you guys, this is a really nice optics upgrade. Whether you shoot a KI crossbow or you shoot something else, it's got a nice, crisp, clear image. Uh, the reticle, I, I really like, and at first I was worried it might be cluttered, but it's not at all. They set the reticle up really well, both for long range shooting, 
for low light shooting conditions, fast target acquisition, the illumination uh, between red or green with the different brightness settings really let you fine tune exactly what it is you need for your hunting or shooting needs. All in all, I really like this. I think you guys will too. So check out the links down below in the description that I've got for you. And thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.